Ruswa. One more very beautiful number. Or one more will happen. Don't worry. Um, how many people out here support planting of trees is good for us? How many? Everyone? Yeah. Today in the city I saw save trees. So it, is, so it could save us. Alright? So this song is called Liber Tree. Someday the tree is going to free us. Sorry, a little sorry about the next song. There were two brothers. The elder asked the younger one to take care of the fields at night. But warned him not to play a folk instrument there. It's a folk string instrument. He warned him not to play. But at night as he was guarding the fields, 
he was tempted to play it. And once he did, there were creatures of the jungle that came out. And the creatures of the jungle asked the boy that if you stop playing the instrument, we are going to eat you. Then what happened is that he kept on playing, but by dawn the string broke and he was eaten alive. Next day the elder brother came and in order to avenge what happened, he made a string out of a tree bark named Mingsri, popularly known as Mingsri in our region. So that bark was so strong that it won't break. So that same night he started playing the instrument. Then the creatures of the jungle came out and made the same deal that if you stop playing, we are going to eat you. Then he said, okay, I understand the deal, but if I play everything, will you dance to whatever I sing? Then the creature said, yes. Then he started playing till dawn, till morning. And he played such a song that made them so tired and fell off the cliff and all of them died. So in this way, this is how he avenged his brother's death. And this song is called Ang Ang Lu. sing folk songs, you have to understand the stories, buddy. So I have to tell stories, even though it's boring. It might be sometimes interesting if I could speak well. <laughs> okay, another story is uh, named Oso Mentu, which means the smelly kid. It's basically a, a traditional song sung to a kid who is so lazy to take bath. The mother has to sing a song in order to get the child bath. Alright? So he repeats, she repeats the same song for six times. Or if it is not repeated for six times, it's forbidden. So this song is called Oso Mentu.
Thank you very much. Thank you for your generosity. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, we'll try to do that. We'll try to do that. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> bribing me, huh? <laughs> you should not practice this. This is a new state, huh? We need progress. No bribing. Uh, this song is called Say, Say, Say. Director from North East Zone Culture Center, Dimapur, Nagaland. 
Mr. Sir is meeting her. Inviting all the groups from Manipur, Mizoram, Arunachal Pradesh, Nagaland, Dimapur. The various hand forms, these are from Manipur. Different dancers to have the privilege to have a photograph with the Princess Vesta. This is Arunachal Pradesh, then we have Meghalaya, Manipur, Mizoram. Yeah, come this side, please. Come this side. Two of come this side. Then we have Assam, the red turban. This is from Nagaland. Please join us. All seven states of Northeast, traveling from Puducherry to Andhra Pradesh and Telangana, showing Northeast Folk Festival, brought to the Department of Culture and Languages. Madam, onto the dais, please. A small gift from Northeast, please, onto the dais, please, please, sister. See, Toli Nochi, Joint Director of Northeast Culture Center, Dimapur, presenting to Princess Sir. A traditional coat and a turban from Northeast, Nagaland. Uh, this coat is for Special Officer G. Kishan Rao Garu. <laughs> yeah, a huge round of applause, please. Joint Director Toli Nochi, Joint Director, presenting.